Hello and welcome to my 100% walkthrough guide of Shy Dog's Hidden Orchestra. It's a game that was recently released on Xbox, previously been on Steam for a couple of months now from Hinchum and Games, and is essentially a kind of cat finder, similar to the genre of the Full of Cats series or uh, Cats In series. And in this one, the distinction is dogs. So just quickly getting into the first level here, we will rapid fire some achievements. So I'm going to go from left to right, top to bottom. And as you see there, I will get a kind of puzzle piece looking thing that will get the first achievement for finding a hint piece. And then that dog in a second will pop the second achievement for finding our first dog. Now, the levels all have 20 dogs, three puzzle pieces, one secret dog. Now, the one secret dog is included in the 20, so there's 19 normal, one secret, and I will go through each of the 19 normal dogs first, then I will collect or make sure I've collected all the puzzle pieces. That kind of gives you a hint as how to reveal the secret dog. The secret dog you'll require to interact with the orchestra at the bottom in a specific way to do so. I'll show you that in all of the levels. Some of them it can be tougher than others. The biggest issue you're probably going to have is the controls. If you're on a uh, controller it's really quite difficult, but on keyboard and mouse it's not too bad. So I would recommend using that if you can. If not, don't worry. The cursor dot is quite small, so you sometimes do lose it, particularly on the, uh, there's a snow level, it's the second level in Alaska. You, it's very easy to lose it in that. But if you just follow along here, I know I go quite quick, so feel free to slow down this part or go back through it, but I will collect all of the dogs and I'll just chime in every now and again if there's anything I think that's helpful. But in the meantime, happy hunting. Okay, so there you can see we've got all the puzzle pieces which reveals the secret or shows how to solve it. Now for the first level, it is literal. You simply just have to have only those three, uh, the ones I'm going to highlight now, um, have them playing. Obviously, I've done it in reverse order here. I'll just quickly um, cut to once I've done it the correct way, which is have click on everyone so that they're muted and then have the three main ones playing. And there you go. You have solved the first mystery. Solving the mystery will actually reveal the dog, so here you can see this dog previously wasn't displayed but now is, and clicking it will unlock the final achievement. That will get the uh, secret dog and the all dogs on level 1 achievement. That kind of system through, it follows throughout all levels. Um, the achievements will basically be complete the level, find the hidden dog, make sure you've got any hints, and uh, I just keep following that system through and through. Okay, so now on to Tamaru, uh, I, Tamara, sorry, I apologise. I thought this was the third level, but I think I've got this and Alaska mis mixed up. Some of the levels aren't very accessible. Um, I don't have any kind of colour blindness issues, but with this one in particular, I really struggled with the combination of oranges and reds. Um, but if you just try and follow the white dot cursor I've got, it will show you the best options. The hints, are, or certainly the hidden dogs, get harder to find from this point on. The hints are a bit more vague, and the method by which you have to solve them get a bit more complex. Some of them I didn't actually know what the correct solution was in the end, it was just a bit of trial and error, um, but I'll explain them when it comes to them.
and that's the last of the regular dogs. As you may have noticed, the hint for this level is slightly more difficult, but still quite general. Um, you just have to uh, deselect all of the uh, dogs who aren't playing the instruments that are shown. So I think it's the flute, the microphone, the guitar, and the violin, if you just deselect everyone else. And then the level will change and the 20th and final dog will appear. I, think, I believe it's on top of the mountain just towards the left hand side. Yep, there it is. And that will get you the two achievements for this level. Okay, so here we are. This is Alaska. This is the third level. This is the one I had the most difficulty with just because of losing the cursor. Um, and it can, I imagine, particularly on YouTube where there might be bitrate issues, it probably can be a bit difficult. But if you just kind of generally keep an eye on it and try and select all the ones that are shown in this walkthrough. I will link in the description as well to a kind of screenshot of all the locations on a selected area. Um, I'll reference that's uh, not myself who completed that, so I'll give credit to, I think it was a creator on Steam that created that, so I will reference that in the comments if that's uh, a better method for anyone. Okay, and you'll notice with the uh, hidden achievement for this one, it's referencing the beanie caps. Now you actually have to ha deselect or everyone who is wearing a beanie hat, and there should just be three who are the dogs that are not wearing them, the guitar, bass, and drummer. And then there you go, on top of the hill it shall appear, just this kind of ice spike tower. And that's all the achievements for this level. Now on to the fourth level, this is the Jambu Jungle. This level's pretty straightforward, the colour differential on this one makes it fairly easy to spot the cursor, same with the dogs. Uh, the Hidden is the hidden dog isn't too difficult to spot as well, uh, but I'll come to that in a second.
that's all the main dogs and the hidden uh, achievement or the hidden dog for this that is solved by the uh, mystery is essentially it just shows you the silhouettes so you just have to de-highlight those not demonstrated by the silhouettes. And as always, once you do that, the level will change and it will reveal the final hidden dog. Now it's just up, uh, I, I was a bit slow to realize this, but it's just up on the left hand side. It's slightly behind the vines. Uh, it's maybe difficult to notice depending on where the positioning is, but there you go. Once you got that, that'll be the achievements for this level. Now on to Orbit City, this is the fifth level. Uh, again, this is one of the easier levels in terms of the colour background, the difference between the uh, cursor and the actual dogs, so it's not too difficult. Now I did notice that I had done some research on this prior to uh, doing this run so I could get the achievements, and I noticed that you'll. I'm a bit confused here because the positioning of the dogs on the uh, console and uh, Steam version are slightly different. That location there is one of them. Most of them they are in the same general area, so if you're doing this on PC, I apologize, it may be slightly different than this on the console version. That one uh, there is one, and there will be one that I'll mention later because it's the hidden dog, uh, and I actually got very confused, but I'll make reference to that at the time. For the time being, I will show you where the rest of the dogs are for this level. Okay, and as you'll see there, that's the solution for this level. Uh, again, this one's uh, fairly straightforward. It's just simply a case of deselecting the ones um, not required. Now, obviously, if you do get confused by the reasoning, just simply follow what I do at the bottom. As I said, for some of them, I didn't fully understand the reasoning either. Um, so just follow as it go along here. And there we go. Again, once the level is changed, it will reveal the hidden dog. Here it's just on the skyscraper on the left hand side, and that'll be the two achievements for this level. On to the next level, this is Earth 2805. This again is a level that is quite white grey, it is difficult to see the curse sometimes and same with the dogs, but if you just follow along any difficulties you can always rewind.
Okay, and the solution for the uh, hidden dog on this, you may have guessed, is wind instruments. You just need to deselect all non-wind instrument dogs. And then once the level changes, and you'll find our hidden dog just at the back of this garbage truck. And that'll be both achievements for this level. Now on to Shroot Farms. As I mentioned, this is the one that has a location difference between the Steam version. Uh, I'll point that out at the end, it is actually the hidden dog. But in the meantime, here is the 19 uh, mainstream dogs. And this is one of the levels where I wasn't sure what the solution for the hidden animals was. Uh, I just had to kind of brute force it in the end, but eventually I found out uh, the solution. So if you just want to replicate what I do, I, I don't know if it has something to do with the barn band instruments. I'm not sure. But either way, if you highlight the ones that I do, uh, the map will change. And then we will find the uh, final hidden dog. Now, in the PC version, he's on top of the uh, kind of roof of the house or the edge of the house. But as you'll see there, in the very, very bottom right, adjacent to the house, is where he's found on console. And that'll be both the achievements for this level. Now onto the Sweet Kingdom. Now this one in terms of colours is fine for the cursor, however it hurt my eyes. Uh, I don't know if I'm just being a massive boomer, but this was quite difficult to spot some of the dogs. So if you just follow along, and as always if you need any help to go back or slow down, that's your best bet. Okay, so you'll see I got the uh, final of the uh, kind of mystery hints there. I'll come back to that later. 
I'm not 100% sure I got it right, but I'll explain what my logic was, and then obviously we'll come back to it later. Okay, so uh, you'll notice with the reveal or the hint, the hint is essentially candy. So I suspect, or, or from what I understood, it was relating to the candy instruments. If not, correct me in the comments. Uh, but either way, if you select the ones that I do here, it will change the map and our friend will appear in a tree here. And that'll be both the achievements for this level. Onto the second to last level now, and this is Atlantis. This is again uh, one of the better ones for the color grading, so it's quite easy to spot where the cursor is and where things are. Just follow along as I do, and I do have a bit of trouble towards the end finding the solution for the uh, hidden uh, dog. I'm not sure if it's bugged. The solution is different than Steam on this. However, I also thought I had the correct reasoning for my solution, but I'll go through that at the end. Okay, so now my understanding was from the uh, hint or the, the kind of clue for the hidden dog is that it's the animals, the blue animals with the scuba gear and the snorkel from the scuba gear pointing to the left. And I double checked and cooperated and it does appear that that is the case on Steam. However, it was actually different in the case for this. You'll see a cut here for, uh, after me of kind of trial and erroring it. But if you replicate what I did, uh, this is the correct solution. I'm not sure why it's the correct solution. Um, all the dogs that I have selected are blue and do have a snorkel to the left, but who knows. Either way, uh, once you've done that, little guy will appear there and that will get you both the achievements for this level. Okay, onto the last level. This is Life in the Mines. Now, again, this is an easier level, and the uh, hidden dog solution actually made sense to me, thankfully. Um, so I'll go through this and obviously explain it to the end.
so that's the 19 normal ones and then it's the solution for this one is the peach cats you'll notice there's two different colored ones that match the uh, stone referenced in the clue and if you leave those highlighted to perform that will change the map There you go, and once you've done that and the map has changed, you'll spot our friend hiding behind the rock here, and that will complete the 10th and final level, giving you both achievements and all 23 in total. Uh, if you've missed any, it thankfully will be in order. I'll have the timestamps in the description, so you can always go back, and obviously I go through this quite quick. Um, the commentary is limited, but if you need extra time, just put the playback speed on slower. Uh, any questions, obviously leave them in the comments.